Welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. Today we are going to focus on the MUI app bar and we will dive deep into how to style it, set the height, the Z index, um, the color, we'll use theme on the color. And right now this is just the default primary, but we do have a strong Z index on here that makes sure that it is over our drawer here. And we'll also look at how to make sure the content of both the drawer and the main area or the content area is push down in terms of the Y axis so that it is not um, behind the app bar. So that can be tricky sometimes. So we'll look at a couple different ways to do that. And so if you're wanting to learn everything there is to know about the MUI app bar and how to get it exactly where and how you want, then stick around. Here we are in the code. And in this particular video, I have a lot of default code already set up. So the purpose of this video is to explore the app bar. It's not to explore the drawer or um, some of this other almost like scaffolding, I would say here. Um, it's really just to dive into the app bar. So uh, there's a there's an app bar set up. It has a toolbar inside of it. And then in my JSX, I have a drawer as the next sibling and then a main component. This is just a React main component. This is not part of MUI. Um, so that's where we're at. And right now I've removed some of the styling that made this look nice in the intro. So let's take a look at how it's rendering right now. So here we have our app bar and you can see that it looks like in terms of Z index, it is below the drawer and that's because it is. You can also see that we no longer see the text that was right here in the intro. Let's see if it's still there or if we can find it. So let's dig into the DOM here. Here's our main section. And sure enough, here's that text. We can see that app content area. So what that tells me is that I've stripped off some styling that um, has this main content area no longer pushed down in terms of the Y axis. So the app bar is just sitting on top of it. That also tells me that the app bar has a higher Z index than this main. So lower Z index in the drawer, higher Z index in the main, but both the drawer and the main content is too high in terms of the Y axis. And so um, we wanna get the Z index right for the app bar. And we also wanna get the Y index right for the drawer and for the content area. So with all that said, it's important to go into the MUI theme documentation. So any MUI app has the default theme applied, well, by default. So that implies some important things for the app bar. Uh, in, Notably, the app bar has a Z index of 1100. So Z index is all relative. Um, so the drawer has a Z index of 1200. That means the drawer is going to be higher, so to speak, than the app bar. So that's why we see that our drawer is, its content is sitting on top of the app bar. And so of course the main is not in here. So I guess it's just got a Z index of zero or whatever the default is outside of um, in, in CSS world in general. So, um, and that's fine. We don't really care as much about the main cause we're just gonna push that content down on the Y axis. However, uh, we can use this knowledge. And so the first thing that I want to do is let's focus on pushing, um, on getting the Z index higher on the app bar than it is on the drawer. Before we keep going, I wanna mention that if you want to copy the code from this demo, it's available on my website. I'll link to this particular article in the video details. And also then I will have a link and a coupon to a Udemy course that I created that dives super deep into styling MUI components. And it includes a pretty significant section on uh, kind of a scaffolding an app with a drawer and an app bar and this main content. So I'm kind of pulling a snippet of that course out and presenting it here. Um, so definitely check that out. That course is, um, I believe it's an incredible value and incredible content. So if you're looking to um, have excellence in styling MUI components, they certainly can be tricky, then definitely check that out. So let's look at bumping up our Z index here on our app bar. So you can see that I have an actual styles object here. So normally I would just use the SX prop, however, um, and actually put the styling directly into there. However, for the app bar, we actually need to get access to the theme. So I showed you the number value of the theme Z index 
app bar and themes index drawer. So what we want to do is we can do a cool little trick where we actually, for the app bar, we just take the theme uh, Z index for the drawer, that value, and add one to it and pass that to the app bar as its Z index. So what that looks like is, um, well, we can't directly access the numeric value of the drawer Z index in the SX. Normally what, what we would do if we wanted to um, add a Z index value is we do something like this. And when this renders, it will go into the theme and it will translate this to the value of 1200, which we saw from the docs. But we cannot do, we can't do this. And this is my goal is to do something like this. So what we can do instead is we can add it. Um, that's why I created this styling object because up here I can actually get access to the theme. I'll pass the theme in and I can do something like this. In fact, let's go ahead and write this code. I want a Z index for my app bar that is, um, let's assume that we're going to pass in a theme object and it's gonna be of type theme. So we want a Z index that's theme dot Z index dot drawer plus one. So now we can actually get the number value of this drawer, add one to it and um, do some math on it. So anyway, you can see that my compiler is not happy anymore because we just passed a value or we just said that theme styles is gonna accept a value, but um, I'm using it in a couple places and I've not passed that value in. So let's go ahead and instead of trying to access the theme directly like that, then I will say, um, I'm gonna grab this theme styles code from down here and I'm just gonna give it to my um, SX prop up here. So now it's unhappy in all these places because we need to pass in this theme. I've already got this use theme set up. And there we go. So we don't want to use the drawer value here. We want to use the app bar value. And just like that, um, of course, getting all of our commas in place, just like that, we should now have our app bar sitting on top of the drawer. I'm refreshing, but you can see that it definitely is. So a pretty cool thing. However, now we've lost uh, our content underneath the app bar. So we definitely still need to fix that. See, I can see that one of the list items in the drawer is sitting underneath the app bar. But anyway, step one is done. And so this was one method of doing it. I'll actually show you how to do it um, by creating a custom theme in just a minute. But let's go ahead and fix our positioning. So the app bar actually does not have any height by default. So it's just got a height of zero. However, uh, it will dynamically accept its height from the children contents. So let's take a look in the DOM at the app bar. So I mentioned that it does not have any height set and just a quick look at the, uh, at the style section confirms that. However, the MUI toolbar has a min height set and it's got a minimum height of 64, um, at least on this particular screen size that I'm on. So um, I think they chose min height for a reason on the toolbar. It's commonly used with the app bar. And so it is a common method for giving the app bar some vertical height. So what that means is we now have two options. The first is kind of a shortcut. What I could do is I could go in here and say toolbar. And so I'm in the drawer here. I'm above the list um, component in the drawer. And so just doing that, then we can see that in fact, we now have our content in our drawer pushed down. So we can see all the list items. So just a moment ago, this home section was underneath the app bar. Uh, in, in terms of the Y axis, it was underneath the app bar. So um, pretty cool little trick there. What that does do is it puts this empty div, essentially. Um, components in MUI are just two things. They are an HTML element and they are a class. And so what we've done here is we um, now have just an empty div in the DOM. So our DOM's a little heavier than we would prefer. So anyway, we need to do that for our main section as well. And then we'll revisit that idea and see if we can do anything better. So now our app content area, um, that text, that typography component is pushed down because now we have a toolbar in the main section that's pushing it down. 
So, um, revisiting this, we know that, at least on this screen size, the toolbar has a minimum height of 64. So an alternative is that we, instead of adding an, a toolbar, which ultimately adds an empty div, then what I could do instead is I could say something like SX equals, and then I could say MT, and here I could say for rim. So um, rim is taking a look at the root font size, and here I'm multiplying it by four, so the root font size is 16px. So now I should have a MT, a margin top, on my list, a margin top of uh, 64px. So let's take a look at that margin top, or really, you know, it's just putting it in here as four rim. So that's good. So we can see that if we remove that, then um, we are in fact losing that. So yeah, here, if we go into the computed section, then we can see that it is in fact 64 PX. So that's another way and arguably a better way. Um, we do have to keep in mind that the toolbar up here in that's in the app bar, um, it's height may change at different screen sizes. So that would imply that maybe we need to have a, a couple of breakpoints in here on our MT value. Anyway, what, um, what I'm gonna do next is we've really got a functional app bar here and um, we could do a little bit more if we wanted. Um, I could do the color styling in here with something like this. I could say theme styles app bar and then I could say background color of, let's say, gray, something like that. And so let's let the compiler get all caught up. There it goes, it's happy now. And let's see if that is going to refresh and work. And I always forget when I am applying a gray color that um, it's not an E, it's an A. So let's fix that and see if that fixes things. Okay, so there we go. So that easily we can change the background color of our app bar and we could change um, the text color. Uh, we could change all kinds of values here in the SX prop. However, what I wanna do instead of that is I am going to, uh, I've actually already created a quick custom theme here. So I just wanna show this as an alternative method for styling the app bar. So here I am in a custom theme. So I've just used create theme and then the syntax is components, MUI app bar, style overrides. Um, then within, within the style overrides, if you're ever in the documentation for MUI, you'll notice that there are a couple different methods you can use for styling. Um, and I don't mean the SX prop for styled API um, or styled components. What I mean is that there's classes essentially within um, the rendered component. So a pretty easy one to target is root. So you can target that root class and you can see that I have a couple of colors in here. So I better change that to an A instead of an E on that background color. Um, anyway, so instead of applying a Z index with that uh, access to the theme that I did over here and passing in the theme and kind of this complex way of doing it, then what we could do instead is if we have knowledge of the docs and we know where to find the drawer Z index and we know that the drawer has a Z index of 1200. Um, so we can just set a Z index here. Uh, we could have done this in um, the SX prop over here, of course. We could have done this down here. But anyway, just another way of doing it, we can set this Z index of 1201 over here. Uh, the risky thing about this is two things. First, if for some reason you change the Z index of your drawer, then this is not a dynamic value. Um, you know, maybe um, I go down into, maybe I override the theme and um, override the Z index value for the drawer. That's something that is possible to do. So then this value would not be dynamic and would not pick that up. The problem is, um, as far as I know, as far as I've been able to tell in research, there's no way to access existing theme values um, inside of the style overrides area when you're updating or when you're creating a custom theme. So that's why I just have a hard coded value here. So anyway, uh, kind of pros and cons. Um, but if you if you're just styling one single app bar in your app, then you probably just want to use the SX prop. If for some reason you have multiple different app bars, then you would likely want to investigate using the theme. Um, so anyway, a couple different options there, and um, let's go ahead and actually use this app bar theme over here in our app just to make sure it's working. 
So what we do is we pass in theme provider and a theme value of our app bar theme and I've already got it imported. Now let's go ahead down here and add in our theme provider and make sure that my import is actually not commented out. All right, so we can see that I am not styling the app bar through the SX prop and yet if I go and refresh my app, then it fails to compile, fantastic. So let's see what's up with it. Looks okay over here. There it goes, it just was slow to pick up that import, I think. All right, so we can see that yes, this also is working fine. So anyway, um, let's actually just take a look at the DOM before I shut down this video and we can see, um, so here we are um, looking at the wrong thing. Here we are. So here we are at our app bar and I mentioned that I targeted the root class and so we can see that here in the DOM. So this dash root, um, that's essentially what you're, what I was targeting over in the theme. But just a cool, a couple cool things about the app bar. Uh, it is basically a paper component with a little bit of extra styling on it. And I can say that with confidence because I see this MUI paper dash root class. What that's doing is that truly is turning this into a paper component. And then there's this MUI app bar dash root class also on it that adds additional styling for the MUI app bar um, that's unique to it and separates it from the paper component. So pretty cool thing. You can see also I had the fixed position prop set or the, the position prop set to the value of fixed. And we can see that that is um, what that's doing is ultimately applying a class to the app bar. Um, so some pretty cool stuff. It's really helpful and um, it'll, it'll give you much deeper knowledge of MUI and how to style the components. If you dig into the DOM like this, you can really learn some great stuff. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.